Greetings and salutations from Pandora the Ecliptic, also known as Pandora the Ecliptic One, and guess what today is? Fortune Scramble for Five. Hey, it's a segment on my channel, as you see, where basically I talk about situations and problems and whatever, and at the end of it, you get to watch me eat a fortune cookie. Anyways, I want to start off with, of course, the Slender Man incident. I've gotten arguments with only really one person so far, maybe my roommate, about the situation. But, you know, we should start off with the story. Basically, you know, 12 year old girls who apparently had gone so strikingly. They in love with um, tea. It's too much for me. Tea. Do I drink it all? Because I'm only allowed to. Damn roommate. Anyways, so the girls have fallen so strictly. They in love with Slender Man. This creature that seems to be quite well-known on the internet. He's kind of like, well, a lot of people find him scary and disturbing. I kind of agree with, um, I think, I think it was War, War Corpse, something like that. I can't remember his name. But War Corpse, it's 666. Six, six. I'm a Christian, and, and trust me, this is the only little minor superstition I do my best to avoid at all costs. You will only hear me say Beetlejuice once, ever, unless, you know, and I still believe that kind of way. Still a lot of over here. Don't, he can be anywhere, he is a shape shifter. Though, that cartoon did make it seem that you could tell the difference between him being able to transform himself into a clock or into a cat. It's not meowing, so let's not be him. Anyways. <sighs> Anyways, they decide to get a friend, and they come together, and I guess in the woods, and both her friends kill her. Okay. First of all, when I heard this story, and I heard this from Monday Mad, and of course, news, whatever, you may have you. Frankly, I see a lot of different points of view being taken. Some people who are atheists, no offense to the atheists, but uh, have seen this as, well, what difference does it make between the Christians? And because, well, apparently, there was a mother who did kill her own son, and the name was God, because of a Bible quote she heard. So, honestly, I think Slender Man was supposed to be entertainment. I don't think they were trying to indoctrinate or brainwash the children or anything. However, Christianity does that on a daily basis, so... What you gotta say, Christians? And this is including me also. Uh... Frankly, I think it's just... People, why aren't you monitoring your children? It's not just because it's on the internet. that I think you should monitor your... Well, children all together. I think people also forget this is not 1985. The internet is not a new freaking thing. You can also put parental controls on it. Not saying that kids can't just inadvertently turn it off. However, you also should talk to them about this sort of thing. Because I'll admit, I've gone on the internet and I've seen some freaky ass stuff. 
And, of course, now it was nothing I couldn't handle. It's more of like taking my favorite cartoon characters and then putting a song behind them that I never really have related to it to being. And I'm like, are you great? Now I can't even watch that movie anymore because this song has kind of messed it up or made it funny one way or another. Anyways, yeah. Oh, yes, and then there's the sentencing thing. This is where I got an argument with my roommate about it. People say they're going to be tried as adults, which I believe, yes, they are. They're 12 years old, and they probably knew what they were doing. However, they're 12-year-old girls. So, are we trying them as adult women? Are we trying them as... With you know, um, where you know they're only gonna spend like forty percent less time. So good job, courts. Good fucking job. Okay. Sorry, but come on, people. And then next on the list of stupid things, I I wind up up too. I might do a special video about was the Janelle Ambrosia video, yeah, or that you also know her as the uh, racist mom, um, and Beef just racist Justin Bieber, and along with also that situation with the black people working at a cotton gin. Hmm. Yeah. That sounds like a job that sounds, uh, beneficial, no offense to black people, you want to do it, go ahead, I mean, if you want to, you I mean, you're free, it's just, of all the things, why would you want to continue to do something that we were no longer able to do? Anyways, that's what I was saying. But my position on the Janiel Ambrosia thing, See, versus Justin Bieber, we'll start with that part, just the Justin Bieber thing. Well, apparently Justin Bieber, who in the privacy of his own recording room, yes, meaning he was around recording and stuff, and he sang one of his songs, which, you know, we all hated anyways, so why I was laughing at it, oh wait. I know why they're not laughing. It's because he said a certain word, which I will not say. Hey, but yes, he did it. One less lonely mm, word. Okay. Yeah. He apologized. And blah, blah, blah. Okay. And it was also when he was 16 freaking years old. And it was with his friends. It was not out in public. Unlike Janiel Ambrosia, who I think not really owes that man an apology. I don't know if she deserves to have her kids taken away. I think definitely owes an apology and can never say the word ever again, unless it's in a joking manner. Because in some ways, I think, what's the difference between the two? Well, it's the context. If anyone ever called me the N-word or, you know, my N-word here on the internet, I would probably call them out and say, I mean, we'll just say, like, in the comments here. If anyone called me that, not saying that they would, not saying that you're going to, just say, if you did. I would probably first say, one, how stupid it is, <laughs> really, how stupid in a, in a pro slash a uh, pro is this. Because one, I'm talking about context. I'm talking about the fact that, one, do I know you? No. So you shouldn't call me that. Because there are cases where, yes, it is just the friendly term. It's, you know, unfortunately it's used in rap to be just... This is what we say in the ghetto. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is what we be saying in the ghetto. Alright? Alright. 
At the same time, I find this phrase to be the most obnoxious thing I find. Like, at least he was just doing it maybe as a comedic thing. Like, do I think he's funny? No. no. But at the same time, Gio Brogia, she was saying it to be offensive. And, and should definitely be in trouble. And deserve it. I didn't listen to the other stuff, but I will. And I'll probably do a separate video for this whole thing. Okay. Anyways, uh, oh yes, for the last part, I'm sorry that this video is all over the place. It's, it's not really a video that is constructed to mean anything, just let you know. Uh, that maybe to tell people to stop it. Mean idiots. Or, you know, I'm gonna eat a cookie in front of you. Anyways. Um. Uh, the last one? Oh, right. Uh, apparently, there was a disagreement with some. Um, with uh, an employer not allowing his black employees to use the microwave. You know, it's only for white people. Why did this? You know, by technicality, I have also learned of different ethnicities of white people who were just as persecuted as black people. The only difference is, yeah, if you be a, a Irish person, you get your butt kicked to God knows where, and you're probably kicked on like an Swear. Sorry, but yeah. But at the same time, never mind. I'm, I'm sorry. Stop off on a tangent or something else. But yeah, this issue was just by a white man and then his employer. It's only for the white people. Only white people can use it. Yeah. I definitely like the fact that Amazing this made a video about this too. Oh, and stated how, you know, we're all sitting around laughing at this asshole me. At these two assholes saying the N word. Like, oh my god, that is the worst thing that has ever happened. What about the guy who's not only calling these people the N word, but also using it as a way to keep them from doing something and enjoying their lives? Yeah. What about that? Anyways, I move on to another part of this video. Oh, gun control. Okay. Well, Texas, well, them Texas foes, what are you doing now? Going around with your guns and thinking you so smart and getting other people to recognize that you're or right to bear arms is perfectly A-OK -okay and normal? Huh? Because you're carrying around like AK A47s on your back and and say you have the right to do that? Uh, look, let's put it this way. Stop it. Okay? Just fucking stop it. President Barack Obama is not taking the right to have guns. Alright? You have the right to have guns. The problem is, there are certain places you can't do that. Because you know something? Yes, there are crazy people out there who have guns. But you know something? That's why we're going to implement, or we're going to, I don't know. We... Well, I know probably these gun measures probably won't really fix anything, but maybe it'll keep it out of the hands of other people who are trying to sell these stupid guns to crazy people, because that's probably where this, probably where Elliot Roger got his. I've heard it that way too, um, but I also heard it the other way around too, that this whole conceal and carry thing. March is just bowl or whatever. But yeah, they had a march not too long ago where basically in Texas, we're fed up with the government telling us we can't carry guns. So we're going to take them anywhere, you know, out of protest. You know, this 
these are the days where I kind of missed the 70s where we had our flowers and such and, you know, like, whatever. I, I know, I know. I'm not going to say too much about it. I don't want to go back to the 70s. I'm sure it was a very uncivilized time compared to now. But, walking around, those goddamn guns doesn't do anything. You know, it's not taking away your right to carry guns. You may say, no, you can't have, you cannot have weapons in a, you know, certain place because, you know, something, I agree, it scares some customers and such. And if you're that worried, I say, stay at home. Seriously, stay the fuck at home. But you're afraid that someone's going to gun you down or something, which, by the way, if you look at the statistics, it is so low, <laughs> I don't even know where to fucking begin, alright, with how stupid it is, but anyways, that's all I really have to say on either of these subjects for now, but I'm going to look into all of them just for just do I think the world's falling apart? Not quite. I think if it had, if it was falling apart, it's falling apart way long ago. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and eat the cookie. Since I was such a good girl. Fortune cookie scramble. Also, I think I plan on doing by the end of this week a uh, review at each week of the movie that I watch. Basically, I'm going to take the good and the bad out of each film and tell you what I loved about it, what I didn't, what could have been better. I wish I could do better with it because, well, to be honest, I don't have the video, video editing stuff to put it all together, but anyways, oh, and I'm going to read the fortune afterwards, so that's your little surprise. There's half. When I first started doing this, I was doing it in a sexual manner. But now that's how it is, I can see. Could be. Probably better if it was a banana. But I'm not saying I'm anything like this, and that's just not going to happen. Anyways, let's see what we got. Happening, happiness always accompanies with you. Hmm. Oh.
these are one of those moments where I think fortune cookies are just a little too optimistic, but that's just me. Anyways, thanks for watching, and please click subscribe and everything. I got 81 subscribers I like to reach, maybe likelihood to be maybe over 100 by the end of the summer. Anyways, thank you, and have a great beginning of the week. And end of the weekend, weekend, and whenever I see you. Anyways, <laughs> Pandora the Eclectic, Science.